Alright guys, today we're making Minecraft because I got a lot of requests in the comments asking me if I can recreate it. And you know, what can I say, I just like to please my fans, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alright, it's been about two weeks and I finally finished making Minecraft. As you can see, you can build houses and break blocks and whatever else you're supposed to do. But before I get into how I made this, I'm just going to call my friend on Discord real quick and get his reaction to the game. Hello? Hey. Did I tell you to stop calling me? Yeah, yeah, but this is really important. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, check it out, man. I recreated Minecraft in Unity, and it took me like two weeks straight to make it. You recreated Minecraft? Yeah, pretty sick, huh? That's Terraria, you dumbass. <sighs> So after learning what Minecraft actually was, I decided to start by making the terrain, and I took it upon myself to figure out my own method of creating it, rather than watching tutorials. Foreshadowing is a narrative device in which suggestions or warnings about events to come are dropped or planted. The plan was simple. Create all the top faces first, and then we connect those faces with a side face. With that plan, I began by creating one chunk that only consisted of top faces, and then used purlin noise to offset their heights. Then, all I had to do was connect those top faces together. This doesn't look right. That looks better. I then wrote a simple character controller, and started working on texturing the terrain. I mean, it's working. I guess I just need to adjust the UVs. But I think I can close Photoshop now. And this. I just got trolled by Photoshop. After fixing the UV coordinates for the terrain, the next step was to figure out how to break blocks, and it was at this moment that I realized my initial idea for terrain generation was going to make it extremely difficult. So I had a choice. I continue making the game without destructible terrain, or I throw away the code that took me 5 hours to write and create a whole new generation system. I chose to rewrite the code. Alright, so the new plan was for each chunk to have an array that represented the state of each block and use that as a blueprint to generate the mesh for that chunk. Using that same array, we can also figure out what faces need to be created and which do not. That way rendering a chunk doesn't require a 2080 Ti. Isn't that beautiful? After two hours of work, the new terrain system is now at the same point as the old terrain system, but the new terrain system is much easier to work with now. Next, I decided to make the terrain infinite by creating new chunks where the player was going and destroying existing chunks that the player was moving away from. Okay. What? And we somehow made a dick. I don't even like Minecraft. I mean, the story is dumb. There's no character development. The graphics are bad. The updates are slow. And worst of all, oh hey, it's finally working. Yeah, you know, Minecraft has always been one of my favorite games. After spending 20 minutes of figuring out basic math, I was finally able to break blocks efficiently. The world was looking pretty bland, so I decided to update the block textures and I added in trees which completely broke the game for a little bit. Don't ask me what the code looks like for creating trees. It was at this point where I realized that there was nothing to do in the game but run around, punch trees, and eat dirt, so I decided to create a zombie model using Blender. I decided to make two versions for each body part, one that's normal, and another that is not normal. After importing the model into Unity, I started working on the zombie AI which was completely broken. I was attempting to use the Unity nav mesh surfaces, but it just didn't work. So after throwing Unity's nav mesh system out the window, I decided to just have the zombies make a beeline for the player without any sort of pathfinding. It was a foolproof plan until the zombies ran into a block. <laughs> So to fix this, I just wrote a function that checks to see if the zombie runs into a block, and if it does, it just jumps up a little. So once the AI was, uh, working, I went back into Blender and spent far too long modeling a sword. Once that was imported into Unity, I made some animations for it, and then I turned the zombies into walking pinatas. The last things I added were TNT, which explodes the terrain in any nearby zombies, a death screen to make it seem like this game is actually playable, and to top it all off, I added in some questionable sound effects. 
I think I imported the wrong pack. So finally, after 30 hours of development, I can finally play this game and get bored of it after 2 minutes. Damn it. Who made this piece of shit? I think I made the Dark Souls of Minecraft games. Alright, I didn't want to do it to them, but they left me no choice. Two out of five.